Boy, <laughs> Badé l'omba, conférence l'omba, workshop l'omba, il faut faire nul le dunia kono. Domoro betama, nul l'om international au tiwoda, number one. Amanke bar domola jandama. Et ça domo jang, et ça ça ria. Ah, on m'ouvre bandi. Ah, ça n'a pas de foutre en dîme. Eh, auto ça n'a pas de musique et restaurant. Jamana jandama mouyat, ni manje de l'omba jang. Aban. Seekers restaurant, known for best quality food and customer satisfaction. Communication, connectivity is everything. We ensure that the links never sleep. Quantities and qualities, all in our data service, providing efficient, reliable voice and data service. We believe if you're not up to speed, then you're going backwards. Communications have to flow as fast as the speed of light. Whatever business you're in, having someone who understands your needs is critical. That is why we just don't offer you technology, we offer you solutions. Enjoy Gamsel's internet broadband anytime, anywhere. Your national operator, Gamsel, Yaibarom. Alright. Honey, did you remind him that the last time he sent the money, it was not enough to buy all the provisions? Oh, sorry, I forgot to tell him. Are you guys talking about money transfer to buy provisions? Yes. yes, but don't you know about Baluo? 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 What is Baluo? Baluo is a service that your son can use to send provisions directly to you guys from the shop. And you don't have to worry about the exchange rates. Tell me how Baluo works. It's very simple. Just log on to baluo.com and shop or download the app on your phone. You can shop on the website or using the app to buy online basic products for your family and friends. With Baluo, you decide what your money is spent on. Your money, your choice. Buy online products for your family and friends in the Gambia, Senegal, Nigeria or Mali. 
Baluo, better than sending money. Are you thinking of owning your dream homes? Welcome back, um, uh, everyone. Council, if you're ready to continue, please um, proceed. Good afternoon, Chairman, and good afternoon, Commissioners. Members of the audience, we are ready to proceed. Um, the witness is here already. Thank, Thank you. you. I, Sajo Sane, the Sajo Sane. The same thing. Keep on repeating. I, Sajo Sane, the Sajo Sane. Then, Lako. So keep on repeating it. You should be coaching witnesses. I, Sajo Sane, the Sajo Sane. The Sajo Sane. Do swear that. Then, Kalilako. I'll speak the truth. The whole truth. And nothing but the truth. Good afternoon, Mr. Sane. Mr. Sane, it's in here. In Mbara. Thank you. Welcome to the TRRC. Bismillah, TRRC. Bismillah. Thank you for coming and agreeing to give your testimony this afternoon. In Mbara, I'm going to ask you to ask you to ask you to ask the TRRC. We have already been introduced as we have met, but you know that my name is Sagar. I am the member of the TRRC. 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 I know that. And I will be the counsel guiding you today during your testimony. We have a few rules and regulations here at the TRRC that I would like to share with you. First of all, before we begin, I would like you to make yourself comfortable. I'm ready for that. And you have already chosen to speak in the Mandinka language. And therefore, just keep in mind that we have interpretation going on from Mandinka to English and the other local languages. That's good. Therefore, just keep your statements uh, brief. Leave a short interval between my questions and your answers. Avoid overlapping speeches between myself and you. And also to allow the interpreters to follow what you are saying. as well as the audience. Thank you. And also to allow the interpreters to follow what you are saying. as well as the audience. And also to allow the interpreters to follow what you are saying. as well as the audience. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. Thank I have already warned you about your duty to tell the truth, but for emphasis, I will repeat it here again. Okay. I would like to tell you that it is a criminal offense to lie before the TRRC. That's true to give any information which will be misleading to the commissioners. Okay, that's all right. I would also like to give you an overview of your testimony this afternoon. Okay. 
Okay. You are here in your capacity as an NIA officer. Jang, you been sure member jam bi, you been jang sure member jam wole minti ko NIA do kula la muiti. Yeah. In that capacity, we would like you to look back at the time you've spent uh, at the NIA during the course of your employment and tell us what human rights violations you have personally witnessed or heard of. Okay. You have already told me as well that you have been personally victimized by the NIA. Yes. Despite the fact that you have worked there for many years loyally. Yes. We would also like to hear from you, um, from that perspective, being an employee of the NIA and also being a victim of that same institution. Okay. I hope this is clear and you are ready to begin your testimony. Yes. Kindly tell us what your full names are. Yes. 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 I was born in Kiang Kayaf. At a stage in Banjul, Mr. Banjul right now. But later on I came down to stay in Banjul. When were you born? Sanjuma. 1977. I was born in 1977. Do you remember the exact date? Yeah, December 31st. December 31st. Thank you very much. And what is your present uh, address? Where do you live right now? Sanjuma, you live now, presently, I am resident at Banjul. What is your occupation? I am a mechanic. What is your educational background? I am a mechanic. With the help of Allah, the Arab school. I went to an Arab school. Grade six. Up to grade six. Uh, that's where I was. I was also working, with, uh, doing also this trade as a mechanic. Before we move on to your training as a mechanic, kindly tell us what school you went to and what periods. Primary school here, Kayaf, like Kiang Kayaf. I did my primary school at Kiang Kayaf. And where is that? Kiang Kayaf, we mean to a Lebang Koganjan. It's in the LRR, Lower River Region. So, I left there and came to Banjul. Do you remember what years you were at uh, Kiang Kayaf? So, I have to say, 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 I then later on I came to Banjul. And what happened after you came to Banjul? When I came to Banjul, in the new school, they took me back to school. I was there. I realized that that is not my field of work. Then I went to Tobacco Road. I went to Madikefal. I explained myself to him and uh, informed him that, and he said he works on big trucks. He told me, okay, let me also inform Sirfo Jata, who is also at Tobacco Road. Then I personally went to Sirfo and explained to him. I bought colonels and took it to him. 
That's how things were going. I go to school, but when I close from school, I come to the garage. What school were you attending in Banjo? Even Karamunju Malamabe Kanu Banjo. Kampama. I was going to Kampama School. What what school was it? Was it a primary or secondary? No, primary school. Kampama primary or secondary? It was a primary school. And what level did you reach? It had a level four level four now. Jumaro. And that was year nine. That was grade six. Yeah, that I went to grade six. Menta, ko nabuse ko inte inte ni mesa mo na longa atray ngatray mito dama kama. That's the time when I informed my uh, boss that I cannot take these two things together. Let me leave school and continue with the mechanic trade. Mbolo kono. That's what I was doing for around 1990. Until in the year 1990. So after you finished your training, were you a qualified mechanic or not? Briyelo londi karamu nyinke. Fo inara na ke moti miyalo nkwai londi senara ngo soto mekaniko la karola bang. Yes, with the help of Allah, Apart I got from that. the apprenticeship, did you go through any formal uh, training or actually did you attain any kind of qualification or certificate? certificate With the help of Allah, the man who taught me decided to give me a certificate, but he is now of late, a man called Sirfo Jata. Please proceed. That's what I was doing. Well, uh, my job impressed people. Then I decided to write an application to the NIA. After writing that application, by that time, the late Baba Marena, he comes to me there at the garage. Even uh, Sihu Sabali, when they are not at the office, they used to come and, and camp at my garage. Can you tell us who Daba Marena and also um, Sabali was? I was in Daba Marena and I was in Sabali. I was in Sabali. I was in Sabali. I was in Sabali. Former Vice President. Sihu Sabali was one time former Vice President during Jawara's regime. I was in Marena Franca, Dada DG NIAD. And Daba Marena also one time Director General at the uh, NIA. That's how things were going. Uh, until uh, I was later called to the NIA. So we called interview for a test floor. They said before going for an interview, they'll have to test me. I said that's okay. I said to them now what you are going to do. Tell your chief uh, mechanic. Tell him to dismantle any kind of machine that he has. Let him dismantle the machine and leave it like that in my absence. When I come, maybe uh, if I come back, if I assemble, if I reassemble the machine and it failed to ignite, then there will be no need for you to employ me. Because if you want to employ somebody, it should be uh, somebody who is well qualified in that job. Mr. Sane, it seems you were dictating the terms of your examination there before you were allowed to gain employment at the NIA. Mr. Sane, I'm going to tell you that 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 I'm going to tell as somebody, if you are well, uh, uh, if you are well qualified in anything, then you shouldn't have fears. That means that if you are on the part of the truth, you will not have fears. So were you eventually employed? Yes, on the day that all this happened, uh, uh, they told me to start work on that very day. But I told them, no, I have other jobs that I have to finish before I can come and start working here.
Do you remember when you started employment with the NIA? Mm -hmm. uh, Allah de Marudo. Yes, by the help of Allah. Mm -hmm. I forgot the date itself. Mm -hmm. But if it was in the year 2004, if I remember properly. I believe you have a copy of your appointment letter with you. Jigida letter on my side by Tandila Koyeta Dokola, a copy in Abimul. Yes, I have the copy. Kindly give it to the usher, please. Are you literate? Yes, I'm literate. 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 Yes, I'm no, I, I didn't read it. In that case, I will just read it on your behalf, uh, oh. Mr. Chairman. The appointment letter is dated the 1st of November 2004, and it's reference PR CD 4060 in brackets 2, and it is signed by Elijah B. Gassama for the Director General. And I would like to attend it as part of the record. I will give you an exhibit number uh, in due course. Thank you. So you started your employment with the NIA on the 1st of November 2004. Yes. Can you tell us how long you've been working for the NIA up to date? First of all, no. Yes. 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 It took some time. Do you know up to how long? It looks like you've been working for the NIA for more than 20 years now. Yes, it has been about 20 years. With the help of Allah. Yes, yes. And that is a long time. Yes, it that's a long time. Is it safe to assume that you know the NIA very well? Yes, the area where I work, I know that area very well. You know the NIA as an institution very well after working there for 21 years. That is what I'm putting to you. Yes, that's true. Sorry, can you repeat your answer, Mr. Witness? Yes, he said that's true. Thank you very much. You know exactly how the NIA operates. Yes, I know that the NIA is a very good thing. Yes, I have knowledge of some. And you're familiar with its officers and workers. Yes, with the help of Allah. Before you started the NIA, did you receive any kind of training um, for the work that you were going to do there in that agency? Yes, no, since I was employed, I think three months or four months. Well, uh, I spent three to four months after my appointment. And that's the time when I should go to the training school. When I went to the training school, I told them, had I known that this is what's going to happen, I wouldn't have taken up this job. Because the time I spent at the training school and the hardship I encountered, I have seen that. Because if you are at a garage, every day you will earn money by yourself. Even if it is a dollar. Even it is five dollars. That's all thanks to Allah. What kind of training did you receive at the training school? Yes, I received training. 
uh, they told me many things. Were you trained in intelligence? Ah. Yes. Because you've told us that you appointed as a mechanic, is that correct? Uh, yes. So apart from your training as a mechanic, you have training as a basic intelligence officer as well. <laughs> Yes, yeah, that's true. And during the years of service at the NIA, can you tell us how many director generals have actually served in that institution? Director. Yes, if I can remember, I'll count them. Please, can you tell us who they were? Afonyemba Njumalem, who direct told you. Marena. Marena. Please give us their full names. Full ni kontongol dinna. Daba Marena. Daba Marena. Can you remember the period he served? Daba Marena. Fai hakilo samurano ay sangomen na ay doko keje bang. Kada sangjelu. Daba anata jele. Daba kimdea. Sada embula jie. Atada yake apoin ambas uefungi ala atundi gofono. Yes, he came, uh, but he left me there when he was appointed as governor. And after that, he came back again and found me there. From there, Pajan. Who replaced him after he had left? Dumalel Sid said, "I'm not going to bring Atara." Atara, the minion Pajalo. If I remember, after his departure, he was replaced by Pajalo. Please go ahead. After Pajalo left, Bobaji came. After Bobaji left, Harisambu came. After Harisambu left, Numo came. He also left. Yankuba came. Yankuba left. Uh, uh, up to today, by the help of Allah. Now it is Usman So who is leading the department. And which Yankuba are you referring to? What's his surname? Yankuba. Ebe Yankuba Jumala. Kondongo. Yankuba Baji. Yankuba Baji. And according to you, I believe you have about seven director generals who actually served whilst you were serving at the NIA. Kwa ya fa nyame njikita kwa wa tarala fo director nyato nko lfo mo woro gula me yalo nko yedo koke wole nkoto. Amto nyali. That's true. And after recalculating, I realized that you've been actually at the NIA for about 17 years. And that is why lawyers should never try to calculate anything. But I believe you were there for about 17 years. Wale ya sabu kabiri murunda nga hiri kakuge nga kalamuta kwa itata doko la ena yeje fome mbida sa njita nga ni ngora ula. Yes. Do you happen to remember what periods each of them served? If you can't remember that's okay. I just need to know. Kwa ya kino sa murano nyo nyo direct wole bie nyo nkora dati yole mbie yedu kwa mbenke yedu kwa kwa mbenye mbenye nkora. Kwa ya kino sa murano yi bie wati jendelike yi nyote ama nyindu 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 nade janei babo nika nyindu aka jendelike yi janei ate mbole jendelike yi kawa ila watu titi emu. Marena ta ole ole mbira. Marena's stint was longer. I meant the specific years. I don't know if the interpretation is reaching him properly. Kosa sangu lwe sangu lume nukije kari sangu nanga mle kije kari sangu nanga mle kije abole ni linka kang fui hakilo sa muto kiliwo kiliye sangu jeleke niatong kaya laji ala demaro nda askeno ni mba fumu omna joya mirole di mbi mufala fole mafonde well what I'm going to say is just that I am human it might be correct it might be incorrect too but I will try to say what I can remember. If you cannot remember, it's fine. I'm just asking if you can. Ni hakilo tamu rano la bedera. Kenyi ni kala ni ngadre hakilo tamu. But ni ita hakilo tamu rano la fana a bedera. Nda phone lo maybe yalo mina no lingo iko two years le mutoa ake three years tinga fanya phone. Yes, I can say it's two years. When if it happens to be three years, in that case, I have told a lie. Yeah, it's okay. I was actually really actually referring more to the year as in whether 1990 to. 
you know, 1991, for example. But it's okay if you can't remember. You can You've already told us that after being at the NIA for so long, you have a fair idea of how the NIA works. You must also be aware of the jurisdiction under which it operates. Is that something you know? Well, I don't know all of that. I mean, do you know what work the NIA does as an NIA operative working with the NIA for over 17 years? Do you know what it is actually, the NIA, what it does? I don't know what the NIA does as an NIA operative working with the NIA for over 17 years. Do you know I should know that. I've been doing Kaka Walela. Ah, you know, Lunale. Yes. Yes, and that's what I'm asking. No. Just in general, just give us a summary of what you believe the NIA does. I sit here wrong. I found a woman named Fanon. Come in, I love you. Come in, it's a melon. In a little The job of the NIA, I'm going to tell you, but it should be collect information. Just to collect information. I'm going to go to Kibar, Kibaro. As the managers call it, Kibaro. And to investigate. Atame. And to, to try to separate false from truth. And also, whatever comes by, you brief the, the, uh, uh, the government and the whole country. I know that. And is this in respect of intelligence matters, for example? Mm. Yes, as for information. Yes, if I, if I think, if I remember, I, I, I think that's what I have just started to explain. Uh-huh. Are, are you agreeing with me or not? Yes, I agree with that. And as far as you know, did it stick to the jurisdiction of its work? Yes, uh, as far as what I know, we have received ample evidence from witnesses during this theme to say that the NIA interfered in the work of other institutions. Are you aware of instances of such happening? Yeah, those things happen. I'll give you a few examples and then you can agree with me or not. For example, we've heard that the NIA was turned into a debt collection agency. Where basically claimants would go to NIA officers and then lodge a complaint um, to them asking them to re recover debts. Debtors would then be arrested, uh, detained, and in some cases even tortured um, in a bid to actually recover these debts. Are you aware of such situations? Yes. I used to hear that. And do you agree that this was not within the purview of work of the NIA? It was not in their jurisdiction. Yes, I agree with that. Do you agree that this was purely a civil matter for the courts? 
sonta ñum mal ko ñum mo ni mo te mo te andu men da mi to ñanta woji ñi jaarala wolto mo kiti bum daati yes i agree for that we have also received evidence to say that the, the nia also interfered in the work of the police andu nga ki baaro fanan soja mem mem sede yaar do tanko nia fa nan keta mulde mi alanko hanika bi man da woro fa nan ke da bu la police la do ko kono la yow fa nan yow mu na foto woro fa nan fa yow moy mo fa nan mo fa nan go fa nan moy yes i hear that also and they would investigate uh, crimes which they were not actually trained or equipped to do e ka ko wolta ke kisi kisi me ya lon ko be karandi wolon do sifa fa wala pour ka kuse ni kisi kisi ka wol fa nan kele yes yes we have heard of situations where nia officers were used to score personal vendettas sorry eh uh, ngin ki baro fa nan soton ko eh min ene e do ko la ni modo dum ta nyola et le ka o ena e kawleta ka ke semboti pour ka o mari tlimbalia ka sembota mandia mari kan yes i used to hear all those things so people would have personal problems which they would report to the nia and the nia would be used basically to to deal with enemies or opponents mol da mal ka du nyola le mo mo do sita je comme ay molo je ta je ay nal da bu ni nal sa je si da bu je pour ka sembo ta ka la o mari kan rom pour il faut la kun nafa ka yes ngo fa ngo fa mo molo ngo fa mo molo yes i used to hear that also at the place there yeah even though we also have an agency that deals with the issue of drugs investigation of drugs seizure as well as prosecutions we have also heard that the nia was also intruding in that area ano nya nya banko kan janga do ko bunda soro me alon ko wala mata do ko mara nya nya banko kan ka kele mo han ka bi nga ki baro fanan soro janga mata sede ando soro ko ena el ke dablo kusi wal fanan do le ke dablo do ko tamand do blo banko kan janga yes no fanan no fanan yeah that's also true we have also received evidence to suggest that the nia had a culture of incommunicado illegal detention anin ka binga se nga ki baro fanan soro ko nal ada kilimbe bu wala nyidi ni e momata ya sindi dula kile wala ka mara dula kile ni mo bu ka diamu ka fa in communicado ni mo diamu la ni mo de ka chala han fenna as well as torture anin ka bi anin tagire ya especially in highly politicized cases surtout ke ke sol ben yalon ko politico ba kono is that correct o mo to nyalti ba as you know yes that's true we have also received further evidence to suggest that the nia was used as a tool to satisfy the personal desires and also the politics of yaya jame anin ka bi fanan sey dan duro fanan soro jan ko nia mu dingiral mo ke mu na fan jela isa je nyin kamala ko 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 melan ko politiko ba kon andum mbi yaya jame ni mo melan ko be abe iba iba kelo nyin ko politiko ko no melan ko pour ka yaya jame sey woni ra ko nyin ko non nia ke dabla ni jela don ko mari ni dete pour yaya jame ka sey woni Yes. Yes. And I think this is common knowledge and um everybody knew this it was something that was rumored in public and it was something everybody knew. But I would like to go into the specifics of your own employment at the NIA. Just tell us the nature of your job and also your personal experience as to what you personally witnessed and heard during the time that you were at the NIA. So we'll just start with your own job. Can you tell us on a day to day basis what you were doing at the NIA silan ngay men be foto ñu bem kulal melan ko kulal melan ko mun munu bango ka mo be ka mun munu ka fo ñoy bar silan ci booro nga day def ngal ko ro ila du modun do ko ñinga ka tama ñaame ka ka ñaame NIA jero sina na wor okay yes ah dey sunda sun in the morning dinada when i go to the office it's 7:40 or 7:30 in kasain I arrive 7:40 to 7:30 I sign the book. Na sign. After signing, after breakfast ke. I will go and have breakfast. Na breakfast ke. After breakfast, na uh, assessment ke. I will do my assessment. Alon go bi. Then I will know that today at least mo to tenne wala 15 na nyen na wala o nyen na mixo o yipare bi. Uh, uh, then I will know that either ten to fifteen vehicles should be ready today. Based on motor lab condition on Yarila, which is based on the conditions of those vehicles. Milialong ko ikarauta le gold gold pending. The ones that have serious problems pr problems will be left pending. Gold gold le karu gudugu yabetene. This is how I work. 
Please continue. Ten ten. So new butala. After that, ana apun na boy sorry ko. Then I will call my mates. Then move la, move la, mutran mutron. I will separate them two to a vehicle. Numero numero parega. And when the vehicle is ready, ina bida. Before it departs, I will call them and tell them to ignite the engine, the engine of the vehicle, so that I can listen to the uh, uh, noise from the engine. Mr. Sane, sorry to interrupt you, your job entailed maintenance and repairs of vehicles at the NIA. I do a lot of things there. What uh, I do sometimes is to dismantle, completely dismantle a whole engine and again uh, rearrange it. I do a lot of things there. But it's all within that area of maintaining and repairing. I don't want us to spend a lot of time here because we have so, so much more important things to talk about. Gold, gold, yeah. gold yes, that's what I'm trying to say. This covers everything. Thank you very much. And during the course of your employment as a mechanic at the NIA, did you have course to interact with other departments of the NIA at all? What do you mean do you NIA? You do you mean by mechanic or by minimum fitted? For if I want to solve the problem, I can't do it. I don't have to go to the NIA. I can't do it. 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 Mandika says, Mandika proverb says, if you know where you are going, you should know where you are from. So that's what I saw. I saw yesterday and I saw today. This is why during my tenure, I have to keep an eye and keep mind on everything. There's nothing which is hidden except Allah's greatness. If you are living today, think that tomorrow, whether you are Muslim or not, whatever you are able to do for people, give help based on Allah. Don't think that whatever good I do for people, I should be repaid. This is why I decided to think of tomorrow. Okay, thank you, Mr. Sani. Did you have any opportunity to interact with the investigators, for example, at the NIA? Ms. Alfie, for in our Nahar Jesro Lavan Puruni, Menbe Marlin, Kiskisro Kunyala, NIA Jedo, Puru in the Blue Nodum, Blue in the Blue Nodum Blokonova. No, no, I don't want to mix with them. What about, did you have an opportunity to arrest anybody? Saya dung fainar na hari jesro lawan puru kamu muda bang. Ani ani saya mungkin mungkin fain oleh 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 muda lagi mana kamu muda lagi. Still, just as I said, that's the same thing. What about detention? Muda road kamu muda kasih sendiri dua kilo itu. Kamu muda kasih sendiri dua kilo itu. Ah, ah, jadi nama kita nak berdua. I have never done that. Have you ever participated in any torture at the NIA? Nenek dah bulat tajir ya atau jer bang NIA je bang. Kamu muda kamu muda. 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 No, I will not do that. I, I hail from the provinces, so I know what I'm doing. The people from the provinces don't torture? Is that what you're trying to say? Yes, well, trees look alike or fruits look alike, but they may be different. I think that's a more accurate um, statement because I think we have seen a lot of torturers from the provinces here. If you come from the provinces, they have names there. I am from Jara. Or from Badibu. Uh, uh, they let go to Badibu. Badibu. 
I don't go to Badibu. So, Sabinadi? Now, how can you know that? This is it. It's all right, um, yeah. Mr. Sane, we'll proceed, but let's not make any stereotypes. Um, what about any other human rights violations? Were you involved in, in violating anybody's rights at oh. the NIA whilst you were working there? Me, as, what, I, uh, there, what I always do is to help. That's all what I do. We would like to warn you that um, the investigations into the NIA are still continuing, and there's a likelihood that we could receive further evidence implicating you or any other person, so therefore we would like you to be truthful. Uh, as you know, it was in an affinity being killed on my own way, it was a dunaje, or Hanning Kabin Bed and Dela Ninga, is it enough? No grammar of Alkidil. If that happens also, I'll know that it is a, a decision by Allah. But if you don't do anything wrong, then nothing wrong should happen to you. And therefore, you maintain you have done nothing wrong whilst you were working with the NIA. Or Hanning Kabi, the Sabbath in Diamond, even Sabbath in this, even the Amokon, all of Mindiko, even Kuke Melanko, and his Silo Manta, what are you going NIA? Yes. However, Mr. Sane, what is clear is that after 17 years at the NIA, you definitely witnessed human rights violations. Is that correct? But Hanning Kabi, when you are Sanji Tang and Ingoro La Cola, what are you going to do with NIA? Tonya Tonya, Inya Sedea, Hadamadimu Lanyet, Tinya Melanko, Aketa Boyta Mulkanje, NIA, for Tonya. Um, Tonya. Yeah, that's true. Okay, please share some of your experiences with us, um, starting with the case of Lamin Sane. Tell us what happened, what you observed. Silang, Damuda Yafun Yembang, Emisaro Dinaka, Damuda Ning Lamin Sane, a quarter of Menketaji. Lamin Sane? As for Lamin Sane? De Marodo. With the help of Allah, around 8, I think 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, I forgot the year too. Okay. And who was Lamin Sane? Um, did you know him before? Who was Lamin Sane? Did you know him before? He is my relative even. Not, not that I know him. He is my relative. Where did he work? He was a minto. Works. Minto? Director of works. He, he was the director of works. During what period? If you can remember. Ah? Yes. Yes. Lamin did all his career at that place. And would that be PWT? And D, sorry? Well, for like a PWD. It it was the PWD which changed and they called the place Department of Works. Very well. Please tell us what happened to him. I found you bamuna kira lanyila minsane la. Minsane. Allah de Marodo. With the help of Allah. I was going out of the place. I went and bought breakfast and I was returning back. Which place are you referring to? The NIA. Okay. Uh, what did you see? When I was entering, I was entering. I saw the vehicle and I recognized the vehicle. I saw another vehicle behind it. I said to myself, I recognize this vehicle. And which vehicle was it? It was a pickup. It was a pickup. It was a pickup. It was a small car, black one. And his own private car was a small one, a black one. Who are you referring to? I'm talking about. Please proceed. Uh -huh, with the help of Allah, I saw him alight from the vehicle. He was wearing his suit. 
He told me that when I went to my office, I went in and I started to have my breakfast, but then I was picked and brought here. So, I asked him what has happened. He said to me, well, as far as now, I don't know as yet what is the reason. I said to him, well, okay, by the grace of Allah, we will know. You were there? No, boy, huh? Then we were there till uh, dusk. I didn't hear anything. Well, when it was time, when, when it was around four o'clock, I wanted to go home. Men say no. I cannot go home. I was unable to leave. But yeah. Because of my relationship with him. Miyama. If they touch him, Miyama. the person who touches him might touch me also. What happens to him might also happen to me. Yo, so go for a stay for January six. I said, okay, I am going to stay up to six. Six sida. When uh, it was time for at, uh, for six o'clock, Naya, I saw them taking him out of invest and they took him to light detention. Um, please, Mr. Sane, you know we are not um, working at the NIE, so some of these jargons we are not able to understand. What is invest and light deten? Yeah, when told me that we are NIE, ni ko ni ka into surunsi fal din told asike non talon nola. Ni ko invest, muna wote ane ni ko light detention. Wala mundi. Yeah, we invest. Wala ko kisis dula. Invest, invest stands for investigation, the place who are, the place who are responsible to in, give, investigate matters. Okay. And you said light detention, but you meant light detention as well. Yes, I'm going to be able to get the same thing. I'm going to be able to get the same thing. They brought him to a place where uh, there is a big parlor with all the rooms. It is nowadays that the place has been changed. But at that time, that's where they brought him. Do you know why that place is referred to as light detention, as opposed to other forms of detention? What I know about light detention, I personally slept there. They take you there. Before they do anything about your affairs, they will take you there. Now you will stay there and they will investigate about you. So, so during that, it took two days. I didn't hear anything. I went to him and I said to him, Lamin. I told him we are of the same blood, we are from the warrior clan. I said to him whether it is death, whether it is uh, something peaceful. Since I came to the NIA here, I've never even visited Invest to know what happens there. I said to him, but for now, let me go and visit the place and talk to somebody there. Uh, I went there and found Lamin Mane. I said to him, Lamin Mane, we are all from this, we are all relatives. Sane and Mane are all, all the same. I want you to give me or hint me something about Lamin. Because calls were coming from every side. We don't know still what has happened. I've been, even his family, today is three days, they don't even know where he is. I said to him today, if I don't know, there is a head. I will go to the head and ask him. He said to me, no, wait for the time being. I said to him, that's what I'm going to do. Mr. Sane, you've already said that from your evidence, we know that he was already in detention for about three days. 
info ila kumu kono ko sai ngalo ni ko ab tarda maro kono fami bida tili saba sa se do fono dile ko be fono suya kama it was more than that just to shorten uh, my explanation how many days did he actually was he in, det in detention for i actually did like a detention maro kono je la mini one month dile i mean spent one month there from there and from what you've said it was also in communicado detention he was not allowed to access or contact his his family amunda ko ya fanya men fana tarta nu maroko no je ani mo buka diamu ana la di mbaya ani wol buka diamu fa dum min prega yes but the day i became ready ka bi i said to him today ye mbay they will uh, dismiss me wala is my mail too or they take me to my l2 the di mbalu your family anybody stone plus your close relatives bafleni i will tell them oh that oh. will the man is steady for them to uh, let them steady their minds we are going to be jadile so that they will know your condition kai mi de mi de ba mayale i have said to them that i'm going to your mother a brikama le mi dajile she said brikama and i'm going there mi de lam so kan e ya kotu i'll go to your wife at kotu I'll tell them that you have been arrested and detained here. Can you tell us what the conditions of detention were for Mr. Sane? What the condition of the detention? Ako fesa for no condition eh ala maralo ni ngala al halo ni benyadi len. Somebody who is used to easy life who doesn't know what is suffering. No 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 ndakli so barakon. If that person goes into hardship Okay, akabane. Well, uh, that that changes the whole situation. Akabane yadi, balo kabang. Yes, the 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 body will, the person will lose weight. Do you know if he was maltreated at all? Yeah, na foila lono na foya. Ya muda nyala miyano ko mara nyaja walemba. Na lulu mi dina. What I realized, mumin dalte la 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 ronka. Somebody who used to sleep on a bed. Domoro dia tenya ni kaka nyam. Any type of food he wants that's what he will eat. Ida dami ndo imo jije. And we we'll go to a place and see somebody. Mo fa fasu mbadalti. Ah? Mo fa fasu mbadalti. That's another way of suffering. And what about torture? Was he tortured during the time during the one month he spent at the NIA? Wo kare kilimo bi jo nyim men ko na ak NIA je. Fo ya tajire ya ba wala fo ya lipala ba. Mina mina jele. I'm coming to that. Can you yeah, please answer the question and then maybe you can explain. Aja bi drong fo ya ni warbe. Je imali baje. No, he was not beaten there. There. At the NIA. NIA je. Ah. Yes, at the NIA. Apart from the NIA, did he go to any other place? Ni ngabo ta NIA fo din kira do soron dalaba ya samba da ngam fanamba. Ah. Yes. Can you tell us about that? Mo fo nyo do ba. How did he come to leave the NIA and go to that particular place? Ake no ranya di la NIA sansa unyambula na rana tau dingira nyinto. Kuma na sudi akamala. To shorten the explanation, sa ya buni kabia longo sa inde bi kuhono le. When they know that I am involved in this matter, sa ya buni je. They took him away from there. Samba mile two. They took him to mile two. This was after a month of detention at the NIA. Ninke da karkilin kuwala wato benna ya abetarta Morocco no NIA je. Ah. Yes. How long did he spend at the mile 2? Uh, I wati jellel si mile 2. Mile 2 nga date for asinga fani af. If I uh, want to mention a date I possibly I might tell a lie. Alonko amena nga joya miro ameta jelle. Ah according to my thoughts he spent a long time too at mile 2. And after he spent time at mile 2 did you eventually see him again? And what? at what point did you see him? During I was in Bega Mile Two. For nyala ba onyim fana yiyi yaje lo bang andu yaje tembeda ju malto. Nanga jele nga 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 ga sayalti. I saw him. I decided to risk whether it is life or death. Please go ahead and tell us what happened when you saw him. Sila nga fany ya ye tenda ya fany ye kabri nyaaje muna kera. Ofana also for that. So when dale it was in the morning. Ndaga I went to my boss. I don't go water water. Whereby every time, we get a DJ who happens to be the DJ. No more kujabi. No more kujabi. Then what water water? Whenever I go there, Kaje. I see him. Kaje ko nta reje. So I I saw that I went to him. 
gora udrego afaya ko lafta jaral i told you only to inform him that i want to see him ala mo ngoro ni tanda ni fungot ni saboro ni ni sumo tla dalo mo kaje according to the mandinka proverb if a drummer steps on the drumming stick nobody will see it ola nga men so ngaje he refused to see me that day kala udrego i told you only that afaya ko tell him that and choko uh me i um, i say that b today bajela i will see him anna bako anna fin los anna bale subala even if he leaves here in the morning in, at, at dusk or dawn afa yele fok molla bul rek i just want a word from him kuma kin fofula one or two words did you eventually speak to um numo kujabe ko nyim nyala ba nyim fo inata na diam numo en namba Yes, because he must have to go home. I sat down at his door. Ninkunyo ko cha inta banda. Odrini. The orderly told me to go out. Yalo ngundo ko na intraje. The person and that person found me there. Ka no problem. Banda wa yalo be kind order la. I said okay, but as for the outside, <laughs> we are equal there. Nse meta nse meta fence obala. Yeah. I went out and I leaned on the fence. Ka ko. I said to him Ninakuo as for this matter left out lona that's what i want to know na be finna when it is going to be black i think let it be black na bo koyla if it is going to be white malo so that i will know the situation akonya yi njabi na what he told me was ni ore bo santol this order came from the top ntai top mindo i asked him top from where akonya akonya ko ke baya he said to me from the elder ngay ko ni ngay ko say almost one month every day i came from mile to i said to him now he tell us um, who this elder was wala ni ke baati ko ya jamme he said that was yaya jamme so mr sane was arrested and detained at the nia on the instructions of yaya jamme amunta ni mr sane memu la min sane de ya muta ya samba nia in ara sound mile to yaya jamme la kan kan ah for for la for yes as what they told me okay, ay ko bismillah i said okay Tenten. Kai ko. I said to him. Feru file. Something we must have to be done. Na taro ko atibulala. If they are not going to release him. I mean charge. And they didn't charge him. Ay lulu ni ka je ka bunam mile to ka samana. Every day they will go for him, pick him from mile to and bring him. So say now. Na rafo ni la mine ko. And I told Lamin, "Galam ko ita nyame." I said to Lamin, "What is going to happen?" Kai ko nyame mante. Akira di. Kai ko nyame mante. The way things are going is not the right way. Kai ko say one month. I said to him, "Now it's one month." He may charge. They didn't charge you. Me fem foye. They didn't tell you anything. Kai ko na mile two. They take you from mile two. Me dena no kesi mo na shofan. Kesi mo na. office just like a baby they bring you here to the office that's in the from 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 8 o'clock they make him sit down there from 8 in the morning to 5 o'clock till 5 and in your view mr sane was that correct procedure was it was it wrong o ite law miro do tamandiri blo nyinga ka nyame fo atilin dala ba ni ko go otumo nyame the way that we, that things were i mean as for lamin nak dem si si ba flala We talk in two ways. Can you tell me whether that was unlawful or whether it was lawful? The fact that you said he had been there at the NIA for over one month, he was in charge with any offence, and then he was taken to mile two. I mean, you ningawa la mindi ko. For example, for don't come in some way. For we still only water man dribble only come in some bar kang. At that time, NIA for carry killing. Yeah, when the NIA has some bar mile two, for that that order. For water man dribble only come in some bar the lamin kang. For only water, only water that lamin for. No, that's quite wrong. And do you know whether before he went to mile two, they took him to court? Whether there was a court order actually remanding him there? The London of Ireland, the Fernando Janiba, but the NIA, Kasamba mile two, four years, Kasamba Kiti or Alabam, Kiti or Kiti or another county, well, on the court order, he could do that. He can't forget that mile two. I don't see him follow up. What do you mean? No, that never happened. And after he was brought back from mile two. Did you at any point observe anything that was wrong with Mr. Sane? Biri ya bonina mile to ya nadi. Fo, ila korosi do wedar na in fenten dile suti abala la ban kaitan diko kuude nyinde kuba bala mi alon ko manyin suti abala. 
Yes, I recognize, I observed something about him. Please tell us what you observed. One day he was alighting from the vehicle. He was being escorted. Where was he coming from? When he was uh, brought from mile two. He alighted from the vehicle. And I know that whenever he's coming, because the people who go to pick him up, they inform me that we are going for Lamin. I will leave my workplace and come around and wait for him at the place where he will have to pass by. Yeah, after he alighted from the vehicle, I blow the He shook hands. I said to him, Lamin. I said to him, Allah is great. I said to him, Lamin. What has happened? He refused to talk. Why did you ask him that particular question? What did you observe about him? Because uh, with the help of Allah, if I shake hands with him, if I give him my hand, I recognized something, I observed something about him. That is what we are asking. What did you observe? No, you know Allah. He said, I saw the Sahaba deny you everything. He will give you something and give something else to another person. If you put it together, it will become something big. When he shook hands, I said to him, Lamin, you are not uh, truthful to me. The others were standing and listening to me. I asked him, what happened to you there? He didn't tell me that. I said to him, Lamin, there was another person called Lamin Mane. He was the 2IC. The 2IC to what? Uh, it was 2IC to Sukuta Jame. And who was Sukuta Jame? He was the OC. Of what? Bunda Juma. Investigation. At the investigation department. I said to him. How things are going, I'm not happy about it. And you also said, Mr. Sane, just to take you back, that you said, Something happened to him there. Where are you referring to? No, I mean, come I mean, to Yes, it was at mile two. Okay. Did he eventually tell you what happened? At that time, he cannot tell me. Did you eventually get to know? Yes, I came to know what happened to him. Please inform us. So, we are there. I informed his wife that today, he said it was one week or more. He's more that he didn't eat. Mr. Sani kindly inform us about what you got to know about what had happened to Mr. Sani first. I know that. He was beaten. And the way they beat him, he was wearing a shirt. The shirt he was wearing, the way they beat him, I cannot say anything about it. So, what do in that, can you tell us who beat him and where he was beaten? If you know? I know that he was beaten at mile two. Because the reason why I said he was beaten at mile two because I when I saw him in this uh, problem. I went back to my boss. 
I said to him, Lamin, as for Lamin, please arrange a bail for him. He might die here. He said to me, son, how do you know that? I said to him, since I came here. Since he came here. But all I told you. You always see that. Mr. Sane, was he eventually released? Was Lamin Sane eventually released mm -hmm. from... The NIA or from Malto. Mr. They left him, but at that time he was just waiting for death. And what do you mean by that? What was his condition at that time? Well, as a human being, he was a human being. Somebody who somebody's soul can depart, and that person will remain uh, among humans for forty days. And his condition, then, are you? What are you saying was the cause of that condition? The fact that the only thing that remained for him was death. <laughs> Anybody who sees Lamin, you, uh, you happen to see him the day before, and you see him today, and you look at him properly, and I observe Lamin properly. What was responsible for that? That's what I'm trying to get from you. What I said is that he was beaten. And according to you, you were saying that he was beaten at mile two. Yes, at mile two. Was not Lamin Lamin Sane was at the NIA for a whole month. Is that Lamin, correct? Lamin Sane was at the NIA for a month for curriculum. Yes, that's what happened. Having sworn on the Quran, can you tell us for sure that he was not beaten at the NIA? Yes, he was not beaten at the NIA. Yes, at the NIA, he was beaten by the NIA. The reason why I said that he was not beaten, what I observed, was when they realized that, now I am ready for anything in this matter, whether it is going to be peaceful, whether it is going to be troublesome, uh, that uh, uh, resulted into this is why in fact he was granted bail because when on our way the question was can you tell us for sure whether or not he was beaten at the NIA or not can you swear to that I will swear to it so as far as you know, he was only beaten at mile two. Uh, because Yes. When they took him, when I took him home, his wife, told, told her to take her to the hospital. At the hospital, one week, after one week, he was transferred again to the hospital. And during that period, I went there every day, and I chat with him, and he told me that that was what happened, because even when he died, what happened, please, Mr. Sani? He told you that is what happened. Can, can you tell us what he told you? He said to me that I was beaten. I said to him, you were beaten? I said, what kind of people beat you? He said to me, you know, it was in the night. And I said to him, can you describe these people to me? 
lakh ro koma sa sa reti is after uh, the year after there is no other settlement mo do fonu ni and they could not tell me anything about it you said they were dressed in black they are black black on the ban i said to him hope this are not the black black ask him i can't he said it could be them kai ko and i said to him not ro ko ya 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 la mimu if i told you knew who they were kai ko ko nga nga ko ni on tambi ko 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 fo bi yalla then the, to talk about it would have been easier mr sane we we've heard evidence that usually what happens is that you are referring to the black black usually they remove people from maltu and take them to the nia premises where they are tortured is that what happened in this case or are you saying that he was are you still maintaining that he was tortured at maltu mr sane nga nga ci dan dolo so dan ko ni black black ko le bari to ni black black so ito kata e ma e kata maltu le mo bo di maltu ye samba nia ye te tajire ya woro bari sa ite han ka bi fobe lori ni kan ko kafu ko ate lamin sane ate ita tata te ita tata te tajire ya ma te tata liba maltu le a woro fi That was what he told me. Nasra ko farma tule. If I told he died in mile 2. I wouldn't have said it that way. Afi nya men. The way he told me. Nga faul nya. Is the same way I am telling you here. Thank you very much. And what happened eventually with Mr. Sane? Mona nar na ke Mr. Sane la ko nya nyala ba. Mona na balu. He did not survive. Olu olu lala. That day. Milta ka jamo do. Those that went to the mosque. And if he go to which day are you referring to? Well, on Jumaa Lof, Jumaa Fada, when he died. And what was the length of period between when he was released and his death? Ah, when he jumped for the new year, every year, Bula, I think a father was robbing him. He jumped for the new year, did he? Malundal, ten days or now, see, from from now on. Ah, what I know is, if it's ten days, then it is. Uh, if it is not ten days, then it cannot be more than that. Because Alam for the year, Aoka Amunva. Because his wife is here, Aoka. She's still alive. And can you tell us what you believe was the cause of his death? Sai fo sa fo no ni wiira la da muna ma la da de sa ya sababuri. Di baro. The beating. Was jamo ro because at the mosque the mama mo fa the imam is still alive. Mi bi la ka bari la to. Those who went to the cemetery. Alon ko jama be je bi mo fa. Many of them are still alive. Cos nga ya je mo be je ko. Everybody saw that. Ya ra mi fa ko no. The clothes that he was uh, wrapped in yelo nyaw yelo la you could see the blood stains min sa ka bari la that's where the cemetery so kula ro nyam that was where things were so the wounds that were inflicted on him during his torture were still fresh amunta bar mo nyim yalla ko ayeso do wato min ya lipa han ka biwo bar mo nyi do kuta kuta yarin ha yes bar mo maje de ngande ko fanu ko yo a ulitel we did not see the injuries but the white cloth was uh, having red stains Thank you very much. And who do you hold responsible for his death? Itela mi lo ro ite ya ite be jumale jalaila kafo wolbe marlinga la saya ala saya sababola. Government nango. It's the government. Mr. Kundale. It's the government. You told us that he had been arrested and detained on the personal instructions of the ex-president Yaya Jammeh, is that correct? Ye mi fonye janko ya mutala ya samba ya sindidu la kilin anu akata menna kankan wolbe president president Jammeh la kankan yola fonye fo. Ah, okay, old. Yes, that was it. So do you hold the government responsible or do you hold him responsible? Silang, ibe masakunda e bi de wala jalaila ba fobe ya jamela jalaila bu noni. Ani masakunda de wajata ya. I will not uh, blame the government. A jamela mo jalaila. Si a jamela de la blame. Ya fonde nya min ko. Because the way that they told me. Dara fa ngoj ko numo ko. I said to numo. Da go nyim ni mo sirina. This man is a uh, who said me with these people ya dibi ba moya inside uh, with the ajemes uh, mother ani ni nakoda ajemes mother's compound and this man's compound sino be tema there's only uh, a road between them kay ko i said to him that ni afu person point ko if you tell the president that ya dina ko and uh, make it known to him that ni ma si nyolti this man is his neighbor ani ku te ya nga ni ku ko mi mon korega Even if this man had done something which is not correct, he should uh, consider their neighborliness. This man's children, and this other person's children, they are the ones that play together. In Koto here, I said to him, also put that to him. That may uh, make him release this man. 
He said to me that. For you to do, for you to do, you can He asked me if I have any personal interest in this matter. I told him the interest that is there is that both of us come from the same village and we share the same surname. Therefore, he is my relative. If I do not stand for him, there is nobody from Kayaf in this office. I told him since I came here to the NIA, I found people that were detained here, but I used to just pass them because I did not know them. So the one that I know, I'll tell you, uh, forgive this person and bail him. I told him you do something for something. Go and tell Yajame that. These two statements. Tell him, tell him, tell him this. And tell him that. This man is his mother's neighbor. And secondly. Myself. This man is my older brother. It's not that we come from the same mother or father. But our fathers are related. Yeah, so, Mr. Sane, thank you very much. Um, I believe that some of the things you've said has already been established. And we're really sorry about what happened. I know that he was a brother to you because you hailed from the same place. And you've already said that there are so many instances where you saw people being arrested at the NIA. You witnessed human rights violations, but you didn't know those people. But this time, the NIA hits close to home in your situation. Yes, that happened. And to date, do you know exactly what it was your brother was alleged to have done, which cost him his life? I don't know. There was no document about it. Okay, thank you very much. I would just like to move on to the 2006 uh, Nurcham abortive coup. You told me of a particular incident that you witnessed. Can you just tell us briefly before we move on? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Briefly, I was passing. I was going to brief my boss. Bunja I found Bunja inside the waiting room. He was handcuffed. I found black blacks standing over him. Please tell us which Bunja you are referring to. Bunja Dabo. Major Bunja Dabo. Major Bunja Dabo. Major Bunja Dabo. Of the Gambia National Army. Member of the National Army. That is it. Please go ahead. And then? I found him in handcuffs. The black black will back home. The black blacks we are standing behind him. In commandi, he called me. Balafakama, out of pity for him. Mentami no, fungo fanya long na idea mre. I could not pass, so I decided to stand and speak to him. Ngai bunya. I said to him, bunya. Bunyadi. How is it? Konya mukanya ma. He told me it's not okay. Oh, ingi ya kumboda. He looked at me and cried. I said, Bunja, what is it? And he said, they beat me. Did he tell you who beat him? At that time, he wouldn't say that. At the time that he told you he was beaten, he was within the NIA premises. Is that right? Yes, the big building inside. Uh, before, when you go in, there was a hole under. 
And there is a, a corridor, and you could uh, climb upstairs on either side. And you said he was also in the company of the black black. Can you tell us what other name they usually refer to? And you could what other name they refer to? Black black or whatever, whatever we are called. For example, when you black black, you have a black black photo of Kotendo Bela. Ah, Kotendo Bela. Yes, there is another name they are known by. But I forgot the name. Can you recall the name Junglers? Uniko Jungle of Osi, Femme, Femme, Sonomakonova. All them. They were the ones. And you said he was found, you found him in the company of the junglers. You go here at the Jabe Jungle of Blokon. He was sitting down and they were standing over him. And do you know anything about the black, black or the junglers? Oh, you could learn this other in black, black soul, one of the junglers or the Kodoba. Come in, Yame. As I used to hear, who that I heard it from people that they are the ones that torture people. And you found him being escorted by the black black, and he told you he was beaten, but he didn't tell you who. Yeah, Tara J to call any black blas or in junglas or wole below a kunto, co yanininka, but I'm afraid of what they are mea liba. Kabianinka. I, I told you that I said that at that time he couldn't have said that to me. I just used my head and uh, uh, concluded that. There were people I passed whom I did not ask. The reason why I asked him is because of the pity. Uh, it pity you pity somebody because you know them. Can you tell us why he wasn't able to tell you? If he had said it there, what I am saying today, I wouldn't have uh, been able to. And why is that? The reason for that. I'll be in a house. Like, oh, two things will happen. My uh, family will suffer. Those that I also assist will suffer. That is why I passed many people before I got onto Bunja. When he said that to me, I was in a haste. It was as if you were weeping a horse. I was climbing the stairs hastily. I went to the bus. So you were afraid, literally. I was afraid. And apart from that discreet issue about um, Bunja Adabo, do you know anything else about the 2006 abortive coup? Mm -hmm. I know that Bunja Adabo was in the four. Do you know anything else about the 2006 coup? I stood and spoke to him. There were people uh, who called me, but I could not uh, call their name. I did not even want to speak to them. Because well, the reason was that because at that time everybody was cautious. What is next? But what is next? And those people that you, you saw, were any of them tortured, did they have the appearance of having been tortured, or were they illegally detained, for example, as no. far as you know? Yo, mo lo menu je je, ene alam ko imandi amwe, fo, fe yi fe yi tandi, yi balo yi fe yi tandi la ba, menba yi tandi le da ko, yi ye mala yi bute la, waranto fo, mo lo be jil me alam ko fo, yi sindi je la ba, menni, luanta yaka. Nga alam ko, I knew that, na jo yambi roto, in my unlimited human thinking, all the people that were there, they weren't happy. Uh, I, would, I didn't ask if they were happy or not. I asked whether or not they appeared to have been tortured. I mean, you know, for the same word, for the same word, for for the same word, 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 for the
Olubuma, the others. At that time, yes, they, they beat them. Thank you very much for that. But you cannot tell us who these people were or who beat them, can you? At that time, each one was thinking about their lives, their life. Did you know who, who beat them? Yeah, I wasn't there. I know you weren't there, but you've worked at the NIA for 17 years, and we've heard very notorious torturers being mentioned in evidence. Do you know any of them? No, I don't know. I don't that such and such person is a, a torturer. Such a person is a torturer. Where did you hear those names being mentioned? You told me I told me to told me to I heard their names from all corners. Of the NIA, you mean? NIA, J. Bamfo. NIA, Bandao. Inside the NIA and outside of the NIA. Can you tell us what names you heard? Can you tell us what names you heard? I used to hear Tumbul's name. Tumbul what? Tumbul Akontangu. Tumbul Tamba. Tumbul Tamba. Who else? Aninjuma. Lamko Tumbul Malia Malia Mungo Bang. Malia Mungo, I think. What about any person who's actually alive and kicking right now, working at the NIA? Sign them, remember the sign them. Do for him, we will book a more tour. We will go. Sign them. I will balloon. I will tell my car. Sing all my uncle. Sign them. I will book all the NIA. Now, now. I used to hear, hear it in the TRRC. And when I heard it, I did not uh, think that that person should have done that. Because uh, just as I said earlier on in my statement, anybody that came from the provinces. Mr. Mr. Sine, I hope we are not going back to that um, statement you made about people from the provinces do not torture. Um, what I wanted to know was that, I mean, after working at the NIA for almost 17 years, you want to tell us that the first time you heard the name of torturers was at the TRRC. I don't think anybody would believe that. He left off for a commission, he left off for a co, in an ama, in an amount Tajira, more than more killing to a long Jamaica, Tajira, Balamati, for commission on Yatil Mola, left a Purmoela, whatever. Quayamwejan. Ni along Kumala la Forado. No, but according to what was said, Eko, they said that. We are going to have system of the one that was is in the system. Along Kumofra, you know, two statements were made. Mimi system of the one that is in the system, and the one that is not in the system, those are the ones that will tell me, and then we look at them. What system are you referring to? The one that is in the NIA and the one who is not in the NIA presently. And you were in the NIA, right? You were in the NIA and you're still at the NIA. So I'm trying to ask you whether or not you have received information in the course of your work there as to who these notorious torturers are, I'm sure it's spoken of very freely there. Ko ito be NIA lan kabi. Sa ka men fole min de ko. Ila NIA taro wicho nyim be kono sanjitan ani woro wolo wicho nyim kono. Fo ila to afola ina na ma mo ka fuko nyim mo kare mo kare nyim de nyim mo li para nyim mo li para balle de. Ka wala nyin ka fo ina na ma o si fal mo e ba. O mo el mo ni ngom mo me ngofa ni ala fu. I heard those. If I say I did not hear those, it will be a lie. Mr. Sane, can we have some names, please? That's Do you want to write it down on a piece for of paper? I'm not, it's not that. I am from... Because I know that you are still working there, so perhaps you may have some... Can you freely speak about them in public? Can you freely speak about them in public? Can you freely speak about them in public? I'll speak it out publicly.
that's yeah we would appreciate that if you can uh, follow follow first off i heard i heard uh, one person's name mintomu idrisa job whose name is idrisa job i heard his name after that i heard another person's name mintomu lamin dabodi who is lamin dabo ngol to moyle i heard their names where is idrisa job and lamin dabo idrisa job and lamin dabo sign thing ile idrisa job this a job after the incident which incident are you referring to i mean government after the change of government is a job about yeah, it is a job run away is he known by any other name ni ngamo da idris a job to la photo ko tan do bala la ba ha nda nga to milo the name that i know is a job mo lo bo nga 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 lo medal ban kam banyo kam be tarul is it is a job and i knew him a long time in banjul have you heard of the name alaji mor alaji mor to i ko to mo yalla la ba to alaji mor to the name alaji mor an ko from mo le i used to hear it in to do ni o ko mo to 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 but uh, this other name is the the, the first name very well and you said he ran away where did he run away to ka borta la borta tara bi to fo ni suna reya ni suna reya ni binda bi when a thief comes to uh, your house and uh, goes out he just goes out what is your answer mr sane mona wila jabiro da dara borta dara bi to i mean where did he run away to what country bangujuma I know you like to speak in parables or stories um but you would also like a direct answer to our questions sometimes. Wa bela a lon na ko ni nga die ba ka burke la jabirol di ni misalol ni mansalol la bar hani ka bintol fala mi bela fala nya jabirol la melon ko jabiro tilin ni walde. Ci jabiro tilin ni walde ndam ni walde ndam mo ko le. I'll give you straight answers by the grace of God. Thank you very much. I would really appreciate that. Bara ba ke obe diala nyi. Please continue. Tenteng la mi ndaw fan tango fan mo le. I heard uh, also about Lamin Dabo. Where did Idrisa Job run to? Idrisa Job aborta tara banku jumalto. Ni banko ni mo interest ka ba borta ngana borta. I did not have the interest of the country but when he ran away I knew that he ran away. Do you know where he was running I mean what he was running away from? Yalla ne banga tata ka bori mune la ba. Lo boy tay. Ba ngoy ko mo kuno. This what I'm telling you an evil person. I mean ni nyoto. I mean ni nyoto. But he mixed up. What he mixed up? Alum, I bilam 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 awa polundi. Today is the day to narrate it. Nasa awa fomba ya. If I told he was here, let me be at the moment sila. Kindly help us interpret us, please. Okay. You will not be able to sustain people. You will not be able to sustain people. So I'm told. Understand. So I'm told. I don't understand that interpretation. Can we have some more help? You will not be enough. You will not be enough. You will not be enough. Perhaps you could ask the the witness to uh, rephrase. Or maybe the witness can help us. Uh, What does it mean in English? Because he right. understands English. Okay, you farm you bonyo bonyo kono ba? I got to see that. I said. Nko. I said. I But all he was here up to date. Nga ka mol sila. He will not uh, many people will be after him. Okay. Do you know of any do you know of any specific cases of torture that he was involved with at the NIA? Any specific cases? Yeah, no bank. NIA jero je fondo. Fo case be jel mi alon ko ate fon kun no nyinga ko case ni sula bata lo case ni ndola ba. NIA je. Ah ya lo je. You know there Alon akama ko ke wuro rek Yes please interpreters I I see you're having difficulty today uh, Mr Dabo help us I'm not understanding your mandinka Okay no problem let me give you um sai Go near near sabu nga boko this is why i'm saying that it is a job it is a job mona sudia kamala to make it short because i mean to nyoto they think that he mixed up afam sirinja 
If I told he was here seated, seated, about about from Makwele, he would assist you people. Tell me, tell me, I can so that the things that you are asking me, tell me, Vanga, I can kill him for you would, the, the proceedings wouldn't have been long. Mr. Da, Mr. Sane, you know he's not sitting in front of me. You are the one sitting in front of me. So that's why I'm asking you to tell me if you know of any cases he was involved with. If you don't know, just tell me that. Mr. Uh, uh, Sane, I'm going to tell you. 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 Yeah, <laughs> That, that is not a direct answer in my definition. Ah. No. Please tell me, do you know of any cases or not? So that we can move. No. No. I used to hear. That's fine. But you do know that he was a notorious torturer at the NIA. That, that, that bit you know. I California. Yes, that was how it was reported. Do you know if he was involved in that 2006 uh, abortive coup? In torturing people? 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 In you were a witness to some of the events that happened. Please tell us what you saw. Yes, I saw the events that the Sunday. UDP. No, let me say the UDP. Uh, in the office. We were in the office. So around after four. Around after four. Go for We were called. go unit To tell us that uh, your unit. stay. Tell all of them to stay. Go stay, stay. And I said to them, why would they stay? What's happening? Who gave the instructions for you to stay? Jumale kamudi purale sabadi ninji waro siral tole sabadi anafanna. Operation. Operation. Who was operation? Jumale operation di. Say Omar Jang. Say Omar Jang. Please, sir. He said that everyone should stay. So, Okono? So, during that, we were seated. Oh, around six. Up till around six. Then I saw vehicles escorting people inside. So, Nalonko? Vehicles were escorting people or? Officers were escorting people inside the NIA. Don't let them all escort and get done and get out of here. They were paramilitary officers and our people, they were all there. Police and police officers. Please tell me, amongst your people, who did you see? That is the NIA. I don't know, remember NIA, they are funny by the name of the Wolumala. Wolumala, that day, I'm going to go to the NIA. I saw Babu Katsala. Na do from me kapa Uruhara abajile. I saw one called Uruhara. No from Jile. Uruhara. What am Uruhara? Abari man say anything? He's in remand. Abari man. Oma oma nickname tell told you. That is his nickname. Is he a prison officer? Prison do kula. Ani ena elen. No, an ena officer. Okay. Babu Katsala and Uruhara. Ah. Yes. Amuta kora ke. Any other person? Ninjuma. Amuta kora ke. Also, I found Sir Omar Jang. So I went to and he said, he asked me if all my people are around, and I told him yes, they are around. And then he said to me, tell them uh, not to go home. Can you tell us what you observed about the people who were being escorted into the NIA premises? I observed that 
When I noticed that uh, the people that were coming in were getting many, I went through the back. I said to them, possibly, the people coming in, uh, coming in, one of them may be my relative. Because uh, many supporters of UDP are from Kenya. So I said to them, wait, let me go there. I went there. By the grace of God, as soon as I arrived, there was one particular boy. They call him Dede. Just about uh, within two, two three weeks back, uh, he died two, about two or three weeks back. Nah, nah, I'm, I'm he held my hand Konyoko. and said to me, no, 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 no. "In my room, Bodeye. there is nobody there. Left I want it, 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 no. you to go to my house Karyoko. and tell uh, so and so person that." No, 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 no. Uh, someone should spend the night inside my room for me. Did you observe anything about his appearance at that point when you were speaking to him? Yes. Please tell us what you observed. When an uh, elderly person is uh, not uh, happy, you would know that something is amiss. I said to him, Dede. He said to me, Bilai, I was beaten. Did he tell you where he was beaten and by whom? No, because at the time, Not we couldn't have discussed that. What he told me, giving me that instructions, I thought that very day, they could have even dismissed, dismissed me then. Oh, I, I would be beaten also. Can you tell us if you made any other observations apart from Dede? Did, did you observe the condition of any other person there? No, about our Dede. We have and I knew that uh, I had touched them. And I passed. So you were able to observe from the appearance of those people that they had been beaten? Yes, because I observed them. At the time they were coming from the parallels in Kanifin. In terms of after they arrived at NIA, can you tell us if you observed any other human rights violations that were committed against those people who had come from the paramilitary headquarters? And please give us direct answers. What I observed, body language, their body language, and the state of their faces, and I knew that uh, they were not happy. So, some were sitting on the ground. When you saw an, when you see an elderly person sitting on the ground or on a block, uh, you would know that uh, something must have happened to these people. What do you know happened to them at the NIA after they were brought there? What I know, in my limited human uh, thinking, when night fell around eight, I am. Okay. I am. I cannot sleep in the night for a long time. When it's 10 o'clock, I will lie down and 
and then I get up to pray. Before the morning prayers. I was lying down in the house. No, not house. Inside the office. Within the NIA premises. NIA okay. okay. I, 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 I got scared and got up. At that time, the story building close to the seaside, they were building it, but it was not yet completed. That place was uh, full as if, if, you, if you had a, a, a large crowd there who were formed in a circle. I came out, stood by the veranda. At that time, it was around 11. I heard screams. Three types of screams. One was screaming in Mandinka. You will kill me. I heard another one. The first scream that you heard, was it from a man or a woman? That was a male voice. And he was saying that you will kill me. Do you, know, do you will kill me. Do you know why he was saying that and what was happening to him at that point? If you hear an um, old person screaming, uh, that is the one who will kill you. If you hear an older person screaming, then something must be the reason for, for that. And that is the reason we are looking for, Mr. Sane. Please, if you know the reason, tell us. What do you want to tell us? What do you want to tell us? You were there, you observed what happened. Is it big? Yeah, of course. Let me be kidding. I'm fine. No, I wasn't there. No, I wasn't there. I told you I just uh, sprang up from sleep and I went on to the veranda. When I came, I heard the screams. Three types of screams. One was saying in Mandinka, you will kill me. And tell us why he was saying that. Something must have been happening to him for him to say that. That is beating. That is beaten. Okay. You know, we wouldn't know if you don't tell us. And the second scream was from who? The second scream, that was a woman. Her scream, you will kill me, please stop. And, and what was happening to her that point? She was being beaten too. The third one also. I heard that. Wait for me. Before you kill me, allow me to say it. I heard that too. I said to these people, I am going back. I went back to the former DG's office. The office near to his office. And were they all being beaten in the same room or place? Oh, or different places. No. No. Because Uruni, the screen, was in the room. One was not in the room. How did I know that? The one that was in the room. Now When the person screams, the, the voice of the scream, the sound of the scream, the way that it is uh, amplified, and the one that is not inside the room, that was how I got to know that one was in the room and the other was not. So there were different tortures going on simultaneously. Yes, when I got up from the sleep, the way I heard the screams. Do you know who was involved in carrying out these tortures? Which NIA officers were involved? That very day, I did not know. Because the, all of them knew that I don't sleep uh, much in the night. That is why I, I don't uh, uh, drive in the night. Because 
because uh, uh, for three, on three occasions I uh, ran onto vehicles. I was sleepy. No, that, oh, I have time for sleep. Well, it's 10 o'clock. I will lie down. Even for one hour. I will get up. I will pray. While I'm praying, and then I will sleep again. So you were not able to tell us who was involved in those tortures? I will tell you that I will tell you that I will tell but you said you eventually got to know after. Can you t can you tell us who they were? Bari ye mfanye lako kwenye nyalaba wanyi inata na alone jumale litarata kanyi mwulipa. Afanye mba jumale. Angalu nyame. How I got to know? Because kamini kwa ufile court. When the matter got to court. Ye told names. Their names were mentioned. So ufile na alone kwa. That was when I got to know that. Afanye nyini mwule nyini leke mwule bude. Behold these were the people who were torturing people. O okono. So you give us those names? Told you never. I'm gonna told you then. I'm about to mention the names. I had the name Salah. I had the name Guruhara. Because what does the first name was? Just a second. Yes. Uh, these the names in the court now that we have a, a constraint on. If that is the case, I think we should observe that. But I don't know if they had the names. Let me just confirm with the witness. Are you referring to the Yankuba Baji case that is currently going on at uh, the High Court? Yes. 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 That is the case, then um, do not mention their names. <laughs> Because yes, it's an ongoing ones. case, and we have decided not to mention them. Um, them. Thank you. Yes, yes, yes. Um, can I have your name for the record? Um, Mr. Kamau. Yes, yes, yes. Um, I believe I'll just read them out for you and then you can confirm whether or not you saw them at some point being detained at NIE. You don't have much details concerning them, but just the fact that you actually saw them there and they were detained at yeah. some point. Yeah, in Fojango, what I mean, I want to be a kid, do call NIE, Sanjitan and Ugoro, and you be a con of Jayafon Yanko, you more Jamal and Nadi Jay, Sindi Jay, Sindi Jay, Marandi, for what young, Silam, you told Dinner, Silam, Mina, who told Lel Fole, and Yakum and the killing, killing. Ninga, the Hakula, Momotor, Moronin, Moronin, Tomuta, I told Konam for young, Isa for Isa Tonyayandi. You mentioned that you saw Ensa Baji, former IGP. Yeah, for ko ye Ensa Baji je me alonko atela munu police ola nyato ko tinu. Silaba samate. Nin silaba samate. Mhm. Fafa Sanya, you said once Minister of Interior, sorry, Energy. Fafa Sanya me alonko anana keta na minister me alonko atela Marlene Tuluma fengola. Ah. Yes. He was arrested with more than 20 other people including yeah. Chairman Marina, the Solicitor General at the time. Yeah, Muta Aning Mia Longa, Bita Mila Muan Fangola, Bokono, Solicitor General Mia Longo, Chern Ikafai Chern Marina. Pahari Jame? Yes. Pahari Jame? Former Solicitor General? Menana Keton Nung, Solicitor General. You also mentioned the Imam Bakausu, who was detained twice. Yeah, Imam Bakausu Fanam Fojang, Ko Mola Mada Fanandia, Muta Sinyafla, Kasindi Lagiling. Yes. Sidi Ajata. And Halifa Sala of the Doi Party. Sidi Ajata, Aning Halifa Sala, many along Koi, but our party of the government Doi. Ah, yes. Usain Udabo and Kame Sengjame. Usain Udabo and Aning Kame Sengjame. Ah, yes. Many other people who you do not either remember or you did not know them personally were at some point either detained or maltreated, tortured at the NIA, and you observed it. Aning mo kote njamal me along ko dolbe je iti hakiloti muda nola fa me along ko ye nadi NIA je ye muda ni nyala me along ko nyam maral nyam jawolam ye muda je nyam wato me nebe maroko no je. Ah. Yes. And I believe you have already confirmed through the questions I asked you previously that illegal detention as well as torture was commonplace at the NIA. We have already established that. And yes. Your acquaintances have been victims as well as close family members of yours. 
andum mol le mol nar jeme yalon ko e idalte lale andum ni la dol beje la family la dimbal ni la dimbal be ke nat je ke marani je ha yes you have also been a personal victim andu da fan kunnu ke tam mol de me yalon ko ko leya ni nana lati kanne Can you tell us when you were detained at the NIA? Sidam fo isa fo no yeta fo kunde mo wati juma la mi nana yeta fo muta je yesindi je. We will start with that before we go into your other detention. Nda fo lo la wala jannim bita ila muta dol la. Okay. Uh na fo smuta ro ni my first uh, arrest on Thursday. Was it Thursday? Mr. Jame, I believe that was your second arrest Sane. at the NIA. No, no, ila ila is one. Welcome is one. Na e is one. Well welcome is one. Okay, which happened first? You want to follow it up? Na e tala keta bam fo welcome. Welcome. Welcome happened first. So I want you to start with number 2, which is the NIA. You are follow NIA. Mem 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 mu da fulan nyawni. Am NIA. Ad NIA. Natale on Wednesday. I came on Wednesday. Ko nyoko didi ji ko ita. And I was DDG, DDG, deputy. And that again, I went there. I can you go? He said to me that na complaint also. We have received a complaint. You go. You have it. It's from my wife. Yeah. That the meat you sold here. You go, my job. You did not pay for it. I can't tell you. I said I have paid for it. I have given you the phone. I said, yeah, Jam is property. If you do not want to go to mile two, you desist from his property. I said to him, when I was, that was why when I was ready, it was during the weekend, but I came on Monday and made the payment. I went and made the payment. By the grace of God, He said to me, "You have not paid." I said, "I have not paid, really." I asked him, "Who said I did not pay?" I told him, "I have the receipt. Let me go and uh, collect it." No. He said, "No." He called James. He called James. I and told him that. He is under light detention. Take this man on light detention. I told you. Let him be there. And we can only be waste. And the waste the entire weekend. Be waste. Let him waste uh, the entire weekend. How okay. long were you detained at the NIA? You were detained at the Morocco no NIA. No, no, you can say four days. Yeah, yeah, um, it was yeah, yeah, four days. You spent four days there. And you were eventually released. I don't need to go to jail. Yeah, I don't go. I was released eventually. Were you charged with any offence? Oh, two years ago, I mean, they come out of jail. Nibi. Up to date. During that time, did you have access to your family or to a lawyer or anything? Umara lawyer, you visited in Gombe, Morocco, no four. Yes, you know, did a lot of poor. You need a dimba, you need a job. I want to. You need a lawyer, you need a job. Are you sure? Never happened. And what was the accusation? Just so that we are clear. You mentioned a bull. You mentioned two mil, two mil bunda nyindi. If it's a long, yeah, nizo, nizo kumola vayamfo. Ah, nizo. The bull. Allah de maroro. By the grace of God. Almost fifteen years. Almost fifteen years. I noticed that uh, the uh, cost of meat was very high. And I used to go. My father raised animals. When uh, the uh, fasting period is approaching, I try to secure at least 20 or 15 bulls. I used to put them aside so that I could slaughter them later on and uh, make uh, uh, the cost of a kilo cheap for people. Mr. Mr. Sani, without going into the history of it, can you just tell us what actually brought about your arrest and detention at the NIA? Which particular case? That was uh, the, the ones belonging to uh, Jame. The accusation was that I did not pay him, and I told him that I have paid. So you, you took a bull belonging to your Jame? Is no, I was there. 
when uh, a betrayal is about to come your way. Mr. Sanet, were you given a bull that belonged to your ajame to sell? You didn't carry on me to tell me to go. For you to ride the bank, can buy your ajame for your wife. And you, you, you be on file. As you go, you to ride my phone, 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 so you sold it? Say ya wafi. Ma wafi. I sold it. What was the arrangement after you sell it? What was supposed to happen? Ni mune mune mu kacha bengo di alkanda bengo di alkanda nda nda mune nyenye kake ni ya wafi. Ni it will it will come to me now. What they agreed them? Nde ka wafi nde ka wafi le? I would sell it. Abende Friday le fe? It was on a Friday. Ma wafi? I would sell it. Um Monday. On Monday, and I give uh, send the money to where it's supposed to go to. And did you do that? For you, okay. No, okay. I did that. And despite that, you were arrested. And when you are not okay, you call and you are not very not any more. I am not going to move. I am not going to come. That's what I'm saying. When betrayal is about to come your way. Mum, you said you said you said you were someone who was 15 years. Someone who was bringing cattle for almost 15 years. He is not going to be in Abuja. And you tell the person, don't do that this year. You send the bill. This year, I will do it. And then you tell me again to sell it. I used to sell my own, and sometimes I, 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 I run at a loss. But I know that that is the making of God. Because if you want to help Muslims, especially during the month of the fasting month, I uh, see that at least the, the price of uh, my meat in the Gambia here. That is nowhere comparable. Because for another fun, in another, they came. They told me that your meat is cheaper than your jammes. Be careful, you won't quite. Be careful, this is not safe. I told them what God, what God destines will happen. Nada. I came. I used to sell my bulls there. But they came and told me this year, don't bring your cattle. Okay, Mr. Sane, thank you very much. I think we understand because you did tell us that it was yeah, you took your Ajame's bull, you sold it, and then gave the proceeds to him. But you were unfairly accused, basically, of not paying. Of Mr. Sila, I have found you very cool. You are not going to be in front of me. You are just going to be in front of me. You are just going to be in front of me. You are just going to be in front of me. You are just going to be in front of me. You are just going to be in front of me. And after you were arrested, were you eventually released? Biri inara ne muda, fa inara ne bula lebang. Aye muda le? Yes, they released me. And why did they release you? Mune ya sabu ye bula. Ah, ye bula mina ma, unda wa mwalende. I don't even know the reason why. Pana kabi ye bula. But when they released me, me ma bula nyama de. I did not let the matter lie. Did they realize that actually you were telling the truth? Fa inara na nyinga la muda le kuto nyara nyaya beto nyaya le foka. Kabi ye bula, kabi kabi, ya ya kabi kukera. Yes, you know when the incident happened. That's why I'm saying to you. The betrayal was cooked up a long time ago. When I came to this man, I told him I have paid already. I told them to allow me to go and pick up the receipt. I went and brought it back. Behold, there was a particular person there whose interest was to see that I was arrested. So they did not investigate that. The matter properly, they did not look at the receipt. They just arrested you Amen. and detained you. Munda kwenye maaki siki sifa. Hani me among ame sula fam puru kaku kwenye nda kadi siri siri kwenye jube katu wanya yandi fustu wanya ronya yeme mfuwalem inara do inya pideka yemo da yesam. Akiro ni mama. That was what happened. And in your view, was that wrong or correct? Sahi dola mira ro ro mukutili ni wote bamba ku mwanga kutili ni wote fuku. Commentary. That was wrong. Can you tell us about your second detention? And because this has to do with another institution and not the NIA, you know, I would really urge you to be brief. So I would like to guide you so that I can get direct answers from you. When did your, that was your first arrest, in fact. We had gone to the second one before coming to the first. Follow, ila muda follow, fula njia onyinga, follow wala. Sae, njindomu ila muda follow onyinga, nete mbina wala doja, sae, ila muda follow onyinga. Do you remember the date of your first arrest? Ila njimu muda follow onyinga, ala lungo njinga, ala dead ni yalo, ndaba. Ni mwano mwano. I don't remember. 
Okay, can you tell us what led to your arrest? Why na asafu nani? Muna na na muna sababu da ilamu dola. Namu tonye. Why arrest? What were you accused of? Yamu tu mir de tu mir tu mir le dengi kanga da. Ah ah, ni tuwa milenga. The accusation was. Nebe yale ngiri tu gula. I was at home, at close from work. Around eight. Around eight. For the body call. For the body called no. When you go home, you and asked where I was. I was walking. I told him I was home. And who was for the body? You were not for the body. For the body, what do you At the time. At the time of Holy Gams. He was at Holy Gams. At the time of the boss. He was the boss of the place. So and Holy Gams was um, an institution of which particular department? Ni kwa Holgam, Holgam udo kubunda jumal di mea longa abe, udo kubunda jumal nakoro. Ndi ya drug squad. It was under the drug squad. Alright. I am called. He called me. Abe ya alandi. When he hung the phone. Ingi phone ya call na, opposition ya call. Opposition called me. Ah, fengi. Party. Party. Kuto mwalimu opposition di. At the time he was operation. Of which particular department? Lokubunda juma. Drug squad. Drug squad. Enkumandi. He called me. He mintole. Asked me where are you? Da ya kumpele ya. I told him I am home. Did they arrest you? Inarini mudale ba. Ha yu mudale. Yes, they arrested me. And where were you taken to? Yesamba mintole. Yesamba Kanifin. They took me to Kanifin. And Kanifin where? Kanifin mintole. What's the name of the place they took? Ingira njoto dum. Holcoms. At Holcoms. Holcom. So, Kabri, were you detained? Yes, in the jail, Yes, in the jail. I was detained there. For how long? For what jail? Almost three, three to four, almost one month. Almost one month. And were you detained with other people? For any do kote mo lel detain nyo kanjeva, muta jeva. Ah, so that was more than more than Yes, it's more than ten people, if I don't forget. Were you told the reason for your detention? For ya for in ya for in the dalilo me asabu yes in the jail, ba. Move on ye. You didn't tell me that. Did you eventually get to know? Okay, can you tell us what they accused you of? Afanya bang, yewe tumi munera. Mbijele, I was there. Go for the barre go. I said to for the barre. Guy go sign this. Salo for akanasi. It's about a prayer time. Then I could only spend is too much. And the the money I spend is too much because ndaltale because I am used to na staff olu. Our staff. In Salokanasi. Mr. Sana, what were you accused of? Mr. Sana, you told me Munala. Who? They said that. Mola for you, who? That someone told them that. Not drug or someone in here. I brought drugs there. And in Thai. And cannabis survivor. Guy, you know? I asked them what day. When you go, you said Saturday, you go again in here. They said that, they said it was the Saturday that I brought the drugs. Guy, who? I said to him that. I said, if that's to happen, then I'm a very foolish person. Someone that sells cannabis outside. To come and sell it in the NIA. Especially when they said it was a, 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 a vehicle full of cannabis. Can you tell us how those allegations came? Where they came? They arrested people. No, I mean the allegations of you selling drugs at the NIA. How did they come about? Two million leka itaka itaka zira mafema la wafu. Two million ni nata na nyadi le. Ha, molen. There was someone. Aje le mbe bafu le mbe bafu le gineka. So me offloading materials from. Mintra mintra sugarodi. Which which was sugar. Um, ndefa almost two almost two hundred seventy five to two hundred fifty baht. Nonde wonsa. I think I bought about 250 or 275 bucks that I bought. Former president. Former president. Who was Jawara? He wrote a check for me. And told me that I want sugar. Which I will distribute to my people in the provinces. I want after you after you bought it. I do not know how much you would sell it to me for. I asked him, what is the amount that you need? I said, I will not sell it to you. I told him that the price that I buy it for. Let, let me check. 
the amount the that you need. So we check over. Write that on the check. As we check over. You wrote that on the check. Can I chart it? Standard charted. So, Mr. Sane, eventually you bought the bags of rice and sugar for the ex president Jawara. Amunda Kuni, Dena Labani, Inarna, Sukuroni, Manus, and President, and the President Member Nunja Walem, Sadara Karaba Jawara. Manti, Sukuri, Abemul, Sukuri, it was not uh, rice, there was no rice, only sugar. It was only sugar. Uh, and what happened when you took it to the NIA premises? Silamunanaka, uh, Brio, Sambayana, and La Cordabato. I took, took them there. After taking it there, I was offloading. I had my list with me. And the, uh, the numbers of the people, the customers were there. I said to them that this sugar, there is nowhere to keep it. This is not a shop. I'm just doing it here to assist you. In six months. So that if anyone needed a bag or two, I can give it to you and you pay me back in six months time. Mr. Sane, why were you bringing your private business into the premises of the NIA? Mr. Sane, still I'm going to ask you, it's a business, 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 it's a business. Mr. Sane, the reason was, I don't know what you're saying. No, when you are not in a particular place, you're not. You don't get to know the place. Because I'm not going to find money. I used to pity people. I said, I'm not going to find money. That was why I was not uh, selling it there. As they are offloading them, if you are standing there yourself, you will sympathize some people. Some people are there, they come and uh, carry them on their heads themselves. So that they could take, take, take them. And if they demand for three bucks, I will tell them no. I don't, have I don't have the money. Why were you bringing your private business into the premises of the NIA, which was your workplace, essentially? That's my question. Was that the right thing to do? No. Okay. Well, the reason why I did it, I don't have anywhere to keep it, to store it. And during the course of you offloading and uploading those bags, what happened? Did someone see you and was a complaint made against you? There were the detainees in the cells who were also seeing me. And what was the complaint that was made? They said that I've been almost two weeks. After two weeks, they told me that that uh, those bags of yours they said it's drugs and cannabis. And I said to them, then you don't know your work. Very day that this thing happened. The, the bags that I, I, I distributed to people, I have the, the, the names of those individuals in my memory. Call all of them to come back. And those that I gave to the former president, I have not written it down, but I have the amount in my memory. I said to them that this matter, what is inside it, Tell me. Because uh, two, two uh, losses. That is what was uh, coming my way. I will uh, lose the sugar. And secondly, my sheep too, I will lose them. Because at that time, I had already bought some sheep. Almost, two, almost 250 sajio. Almost 250 sheep. For instance, almost 50 years, any bee, for all any bee, charge you under the government office law. You go, I see a lot of sanjita in Lulu. In Lulu, they charge you every salon after that, come on, dollar six months. And uh, I've been doing that for almost 15 years. When the uh, 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 bread Tobaski is approaching, I used to loan it out to people to pay me back in six months' time. Mr. In, Mr. For, Sane, let me just help you here. So, as a result of your unlawful arrest and detention. Which you were eventually cleared of. 
you had huge losses in your business amunta yo anarna ke bulu fo balti la jula yako no okay yes what is it and this was in relation to your sheep selling business ni sujita men na wala mila saji wa fo me ka menke can you estimate the cost of loss that you incurred for sa yiri kan no bang for sa yiri kan no nyela bang ye ye fo menke la jula ya nyin kono ye fo am ko do nanga mo men i fo tala sa yiri kan no nyela bang according to my observation the money that i spent na profito and my profit kala nyaw nya however you evaluated any na fonde sila wala fo fo la fo plus it should be 400 or 4 plus because muna kada because what happened was at the time the cost of the ship was not like this was not like this ta jini asan juna if you buy a ship earlier 4000 or 3500 4000 or 3500 kad na mola of 6 month 5000 and i used to give to my people in the office to pay me back in 6 months time at a cost of 5000 but that was the total cost basically of the loss you estimate muni kuro ni yiru ko bel ni aka fu nyoma ifo tamina nga mere wala fo tam fo amfo ra ha yes what i lost yes so eventually you were released from detention at hogam nya la bon ni na ni bula maroko no hogam Yes, I was released eventually. And during this time, you said it was a period of about one month. Was your salary stopped? Were you indicted or anything like that? Nim, what on nimbi? I come daily tomorrow. I cannot get out of the focus. Killing for it is joining. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Kuntula bang for ye 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 sin ye sin di wale nyama bang for ye salary nyama bang for ya kuntula bang for ya kenya di. Ni ma kuntu. No, my salary was flowing. So they continue to pay you. Munde tenenda kijio. Ah, you were not dismissed. Me bay, me bay. So you went back to work afterwards. In Murunda do kola ko nyin kere ko kola. Muru do muru do kola. Return back to work. Comme même fonyina. I wanted to resign. Go go makoro. I said assistance. Ibola. That was what I was doing. Ngaje ko ala min fo comme ça ya an su an ni porto yow di mo sun krokono. And I said what God says even if you should offer somebody a cup of sugar during the fasting period. Sa ko leya ho. It's much more if you should give them uh, meat ram. or ram. So, okay, okay, no. In that, okay, okay. I said to them, Ale what you did like this, De I would uh, resign. No, I have assisted people, in and there is no, nobody who praises me. But all they do is to see that all the time I get into losses. I told them that I used to take loan from bank and from the credit union and also the small businesses that I perform for uh, and uh, for people outside. I said to them now here you are you've uh, put me in a situation just uh, a week before the prayer time right now by animals that I gave to people. Okay. Mr. Sane, you what about already told us about the losses that you incurred in respect of your animals. Yeah, you, you've also shared some of your personal feelings about um, you know what happened to you. And we are fanya la fanango e te fanu kunde ngo e ilon e kule almen taki. Why did you continue to work with the NIA for so long after everything that had happened to you and some of your close relatives and all of the things that you saw happening the illegal detentions as well as the torture so why did you continue to work Muna ya zabu hani ka bi tententa ka do go ke NIA je nyun kul min be yalon ko e kedaje ye ye sede ya ifamo badi ngol na raje ye mudaje anu ye defa ngol mudaje hani ka bi tententa ka do go ke NIA je ben tembo meto man na hani ka bi tententa ka do go ke je nyun kul min be kede la nya mi foto ila jo ila 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 fengola o nyaa nyaa be do gola je muneo sabu na troko e patol ulun lala that very day ni ngam fonyo if i had resigned kam min fo what i'm saying won te yindi would not be have uh, would not have been this because ge ina e because at the ina e u di newul te am a junior officer na mu ke balti but i'm also senior because min be ge because what obtains there the trust that people have on me in fact the day that i decided to uh, resign 
you would think that there was a funeral inside the NIA complex. People told me that if you resign, uh, we will resign. There were people who said to me, if you resign, you are going to life in jail. No, no, you will not enjoy your life. Oh, oh, you will not enjoy life. And I agree. I went and uh, lied down. Before I lied, uh, I, I lay down. I performed abolition. And then Nada. I came. I saw it in a dream. I saw laughter. I said, What they are saying is the truth. I decided not to resign. As for now, whether it's uh, pleasant or bitter, I'll just uh, take it and leave everything in the hands of God. This was the reason why I am still there up to the date. And can you tell us what impact? Um, your torch, your personal experience in terms of your unlawful detention and everything you experience at the NIE, what impact this has had on your life? Silam fo isa fo no nye, ila muto, ila muto me alon kwa ni luwa mandanyo, me mu luwa ntayi yade, muto ro me nkela, aninke sindi dula kiling, aya mu kwa lea kule li sabu ima ila baluwa kono. Na bulu fa munu kwa mwami nkereka? The setbacks that I experienced in my life. In my life. Kus ala de maroto? By the grace of God, I had a shop in Kiang which I used to buy materials or items when I'm going to Kiang on weekends and I used to sell there. And that was the reason why it brought a hardship on my side. Those that uh, we are having my debts, those that I also gave us uh, things to safe keep for me, I found that some people had already uh, spent those, uh, those that money. People said, thought that I was not going to be released. And my vehicles, I found all of them. I did not find them in a proper state. That was the reason why I had brought setback on my life. If not for the sheep, I am without sheep. Okay, I don't have sheep. I don't have my money. My garage too was closed. Because I'm not wrong. What closed it was, if people come to you for a particular business, and each time they come, they are not pleased with the service, that person uh, runs away from you. Because work is intention. You see someone who knows, uh, who is well qualified in work, or is very uh, endowed academically, if the intention is not there, and who do you hold responsible for everything that happened to you? Why are you saying that? What did he have to do with your unlawful detention? They said that that he was the one who said that. that that all of us uh, should be arrested. The, the arrest? The, the, almost 20 people were arrested. 20 people were arrested. Are you referring to the Holgam arrest? Or the Holgam. Mudarolabam for NIA Mudaroni. Holgams. I'm referring to Holgam. Okay. Pick up. Pick up. The, the pick up. Only, only full, full escort. With a full escort. In Parani Kirulu. Our military officers and okay. guns. You would think that I have killed a person. Uh, the T-shirt. The T-shirt. They told me to come and uh, meet them along the way. They saw me. And they all cocked their guns. I said to them, what's the matter? 
Pata said to me, you are on the arrest. Mr. Sane, are we going back? Mr. Sane, I'm going to move forward. Okay. Let's go on. Yes. I think that really we've come to the end of your testimony. Okay. I mean, you will have a chance to give some final remarks at the end. So perhaps if you have a to say, you can do that then. Thank you very much. Mr. Chair, may I come to the witness to you? Thank you, Council, and uh, thank you, Mr. Sane, for your testimony. Commissioners, if you have any questions to ask, can please indicate? Otherwise, if you have any concluding remarks to make, Mr. Sane, please proceed to make them now. Thank you, Mr. Chair. You have the floor, Mr. Sane. Uh, I have uh, something to say. Uh, I greet all the commissioners. Um, heal them all. Pray to God for long life and good health. Uh, what is in the whole matter? The person who is on the side of the truth, if you give that person uh, the benefit of his truth, it pleases the heart. If you look at things, the way your uh, head here is like, the imams are here, other people are here, the reason for that is so that the country will now become people who come from the same father and mother. Because uh, that is the reason why because uh, if you are on uh, the side of uh, truth, uh, you would have some people who will praise you. Only people that come here, if you say you are going to uh, praise them, they, if, if they say that they are going to praise you, there are others who are outside who, may, who are not praising me. What I have is to speak to my younger siblings so that our fathers our mothers, who are the ones sitting here, so that we come together and be people from the same uh, father and mother. Because what has passed, if anybody says that that has not hurt them, if I said the person, there is no person here who who will know that? If uh, his or uh, uh, relative has not been arrested, they would have arrested his or her uh, friend. If they have arrested their friend, they will arrest a relative. So, uh, if you have a situation like that, the TRC uh, from the chairman, I'm greeting all of you. So that God will give you a uh, long life. And those behind, they did not come here with temper. Uh, let each one of them come and see to it that uh, it's my, the, my fathers who are here and my mothers who are here. And I know that people are here sitting. If I should say that all those who came here, not, uh, they are, uh, the people here are not of their father's uh, age or the age of their mothers, uh, it will be difficult because uh, someone who is of the same age with your father is also your father.
your mother through the same thing. So, not, not try. so let us try but you know, and tell each other the truth. And, you see, I, I see body. and if you also want to follow the cause of Islam, so not, you, know, you must speak truth to, to, to you know, you know, who? Uh, Those who have not done yeah, well, yeah, fire. you tell them, Can I just let us not uh, do it with uh, bad temperament. You saw. Uh, temperament. Let to yantio to yantio. The person who is on uh, the side of right. Yina yen gisola. If you come here with uh, that kind of temper, okay, abe abe to yantio lebule. It will uh, diminish uh, your truth from you. For the friend, you are correct. Secondly, tiara sumolu. The people of the TRRC. For now, ngadiya 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 mu kebalu ngadiya mu ngadiya mu ngadiya mu ngadiya ngadiya mu. Let them speak out. Ngasiyuko nyoko no. Let us uh, uh, reside well amongst each other. Uh, this person is this thing. And this person is this thing. All of us come from Adam. Let us try. And uh, uh, live together. Well. Let's uh, return to Islam. That this person is a Muslim. This person is a Christian. Let us do away with that and just see ourselves as people who come from the same father and mother. And what we are seeking, God will make it happen for us. It will take time, but a day will come, all of this will come to an end. And we will be thinking of something else. This is the, uh, the message I have. I thank you. I hail you. Thank you. Thank you very much indeed, uh, Mr. Sane, uh, for your testimony and for those very wise um, uh, concluding remarks. Our task here is to ensure that the people who are not going to be able to do this, they will be able to do this. Our task here is to is to focus on uh, um, uh, promoting healing and uh, reconciliation. Na do ko min de jawal min ti ko ka kidimandro ke jaralo la anin ka murunyo kan ko la min nukata. As well as um, uh, to prevent um, uh, the repeat of uh, the violations um, uh, and abuses of human rights that anin, occurred in this country. Anin fanan ka bantam bi ke ko la min yalo ngo hada badi nyanti tinyal me yalo ko e keta im bankun kan jang kur ka je ko ko kan murun kan e murun nyanyi bankun kan jang ko tanke. We appreciate your contribution um, uh, to establishing this historical record. We thank you very much for your testimony. We will resume our proceedings tomorrow morning at 10 o'clock. Meeting is adjourned. Brown of suitcases, though other than Samsonite. Come to the airport, go to the airport, go to Samsonite, and go to the airport. Wow. 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 Um, skin, ci mom lañu gëna xamé nak skin care products ci mom lañu gëna xamé ñu ngi dox tamit ben tay tamit ci ay dal man way man nak skin care moy sama specialty xam nga rek ci kene bu saxar kanam réglé lo def mu jek am nañ um, Patricia Reiner Kiwi Eye the whole range Light Up Gold um tomatine i mean the list can just go on and on and on and on lepp lo xamné rek luy taral jigen la ci yoyu rek lañu dox skin care plus nak et nous sommes Gambia, nous sommes dans les États-Unis, nous sommes dans les États-Unis, mais pareil, vous pouvez y aller anywhere in Europe.